What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we're back with another A to Z of Ark and today guys we're taking a look at none other than the Dimorphodon. Now the Dimorphodon is found on all maps except for Aberration, obviously there's no flyers on Aberration, this little dude is a flyer. Uh, in order to tame these guys up all you need to do is simply bowl them. Do be careful however because if there are more than one, which there generally are, these guys will spawn in packs around the maps. Uh, all the other ones will aggro on you. So you need to be careful in that regards because these guys can melt you really quickly, even if you're on a mount. They will prioritize you, attacking you over the mount, and unless you've got decent armor, you will die. Now, in order to tame these guys up, they're a simple knockout tame. You just saw me knock them out. All you need to do is feed them mudden. Uh, if you don't have any mudden, give them raw prime meat, and that'll do the job just as well. These guys don't really um, lose too much leveling off not eating the right food, so don't stress. Even if you use raw meat, you can still tame these guys up really effectively. But these guys really shine when they're in a pack. Now you can currently see we've got quite a few of these guys around with us. Um, these are some ones that we had previously. And we're gonna get these guys to follow us. And we just tamed up that new one. And we're gonna get them to kill this new Velonisaur. Now you can pick these guys up as well and keep them on your shoulders. And as well as that, another use is that they actually attack off the back of your shoulder. So we're gonna come over to, uh, we need to find something that'll attack us. Scorpion will do. So we've got a scorpion over here. We're gonna come over here and we'll show you guys the one on our shoulder attacking us. We're gonna deactivate creative mode. And you see the moment it'll attack us, the one on our shoulder will attack back. Just gonna, there you go. There you can saw the 40 damage was off the one on our shoulder. So these guys will attack back even on your shoulder and like if you've got a school of them or like a pack of them they just they just melt they destroy everything they they come across because they have such a small hitbox it makes wild dinos struggle to hit them which is really effective for you because it makes killing them uh makes killing everything a lot easier which is which is really good now like i said you want to try and tame them by shooting them in the head you don't want to aim for their wings or anything like that because you will have trouble hitting them it just doesn't register because of their tiny hitbox so make sure that you've got trank arrows ready um trank arrows can potentially kill them so make sure you don't bring too strong of a crossbow but uh yeah that's pretty much all there is to these guys you can also take them into caves with you because they're so small and like they fly they can avoid the lava pits they can avoid the water they can just take apart anything that they come across especially if you've leveled them up in health and melee these guys don't have any extra points in health and melee and uh, they're easily able to take on like Velonosaurs and you name it, like anything. Rexes even will easily fall to these guys for sure. So it's definitely worth investing in these guys. And like, look at that. This poor Velonosaur didn't even have a chance. Didn't even get a chance to get a single barrage off. But uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much all there is. Oh, and they also act as a backpack. So they reduce the weight of whatever they're carrying by 50% on you. So for example, if we chuck, well, this way is what, 3.1. If we chuck some extra stuff in here, uh, this, this little dude's going to be heavy. So he weighs 44.7. We're going to drop all this. We're going to go deactivate that. Where'd the little dude go? Um, this one? See you? Yeah, so you can see there he weighs 44. We're going to pick him up. It'll only weigh about 20 on us. You can see there 44 because we've got the gun, the bowlers. If we drop all this, you can see there weighs 22. So it reduces the weight by half, which is really good. If you want to like stock up on extra gear or bullets or anything like that, you can chuck it in your Dimorphodon and carry it on your shoulder and it only weighs half. Now guys, before we wrap up the video, one other thing that I forgot to mention is that the Dimorphodons actually prioritize riders over mounts. So for example, if you're getting raided and someone's on a mount, you can actually send your Dimorphodons out, whistle it to attack the target, and they'll actually prioritize attacking the rider over, your, over the team. So it's really effective if you get an attack and you want to try and defend your base and you've got a bunch of Dimorphodons to do so. They will prioritize the rider over the Dino, which is really effective at taking out their Soakers because if they're on their Soakers and you take them off the back of it, then they can't really do much. So it's definitely worth investing in these guys, but uh, yeah. But yeah, that's going to wrap up today's video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe down below for more. But other than that, guys, I will catch you in the next one.